braided. It may look goofy, but I actually liked it as I was getting my hair braided today. I see it, but some of my hair is turning silver all day long because I don't like it when it gets in my eye. And Welcome back to another video in my universe and I'm at Diverse. Today guys, I'm gonna be showing y'all something so crispy. As you guys see on my hair, you guys are already messing with it, rocking with it. See, I'm looking a little rough because I, I did that on purpose. But we're gonna do a banger haircut transformation on my hair with the style that I got. But before we get into the video, here is intro. I'm gonna show you guys actually how to style your hair with dreads. A lot of people think my dreads are fake, by the way. So if you have skinnier dreads, you can still do the styles that I got. It just takes a little bit more skill on your hands. And so what I have right here is one of the famous uh, XXX braids. Uh, I think they call it a double braid. So if you look up just XXX braids, you will find. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do my my fiance did one. This is the first hairstyle. The second one. Actually, I'm gonna start rocking it real soon and I'm gonna make a name for it too because I don't think I've seen anybody do it But as I'm taking it out, I'll, I'll tell you guys what it is So this style right here is oh, I think I got a bunch of rubber bands I'll take it out later on But this style right here is basically just one of your hair on one side down and the other one braided. It may look goofy, but I actually liked it as I was getting my hair braided today. So yes, guys, I did a retwist on my dreads. I can still feel the retwist on my hair. See how it is kind of like skinny on the bottom and then it thickens out. And basically what I uh, used was like a small amount of gel. And then uh, I also crochet hooked most of them, like the new growth. I have so much new growth. All the skinny part that you see is a new growth that needs to be crochet hooked. Uh, I crochet hooked it as much as I could. It just takes so much time and also so much effort on my hand. But uh, I was thinking about actually soon getting like a professional retwist by like using a crochet hook and everything because those people, they do this as a job. But uh, probably doing that right before my wedding. But this is the untwist part of the one side of break, but this is the second hairstyle right here. 360. And basically, I don't know, I feel like this is cool. Like to me, like if I'm rocking my hair, cause I don't like my hair down. And if I got one side up and one side down, I think I can last a day with it. Or <laughs> I can last more days with it. But this is the second hairstyle. And then let's get to the next one. Okay, I just took out my whole dreads. Uh, some of y'all don't know how to get curly dreads, and this is actually an easy way to get curly dreads. Just braid it, and then a few days later, take it out. Or you could two-strand twist it. My dreads are pretty thick, and so to two-strand twist it, it's kind of like a joke to my dread, because it's just going to come out right away. Uh, so I had it braided before by Gunther the Great, uh, and when I took that out, that was the freshest curly hair dreads that I ever had.
where it looks like this. And that's just two ponytails. And also you can mix and match it. So it just looks like, uh, like, this looks cool. It's my favorite hairstyle. I love this so much and I know you guys hate it so much, but this is it. I basically circulate all the way around to get all the dreads in. And after you get it down like this, I just push the uh, rubber band higher. And that's it. This is the sec third or fourth, whichever it is. But this is another style right here that I love rocking all the time. It's so easy. Uh, you can always uh, put it as a ponytail like this and have another hairstyle throughout the day or, you know what I'm saying, switch up real quick. But I like it in the front. And also I drive a lot, so I don't like when my dread is kind of like bumping into my head because I can't like, you know, rest my head. So I gotta switch it up to, to having it to the front like this. And the front look cool too, even from the back. It's like one of, the, uh, I think one of the people that used to do this a lot is Jaden Smith, I believe. He used to rock it actually sideways. So you can rock it this way, you can rock it the other way. I mean, if you have, if you have dyed hair like this, it looks cool. And also make sure that the, this uh, rubber band is more tight so it can hold it and looks more Neat, neatly done basically. Another hairstyle you can rock is actually get a, a headband that's like more loose like this, more stretchy. And uh, I mean, this will work right here. I mean, this is too stretchy. I, I know nobody's head is did big. So just put it like that. And what you do is basically you put the whole dreads in there. And then instead of doing what I showed you guys to do, you basically scoot this uh, rubber band just back and it looks like you have a thick ponytail basically and I used to always wanted to do this for the longest time just because it looks like almost like a mohawk almost like of course you can't see the hair in the back but if you're holding it like this it just looks like a mohawk and it looks so good from the front you know what I'm saying I used to dig this I used to I want to do this so bad and my, my dress is there now. Okay, this hairstyle right here, I've seen Tentacion do it. He just leaves the front down like that, like a bang. I, I don't know if I would like this. It's cool, but I don't know if I would rock this all day long because I don't like it when it gets in my eye and my food or whatever. This is another one right here. I think I like this. That's neat. My hair keeps sectioning because I had it in braids, but I usually I'm supposed to keep it down like this. Okay, this is another one right here. Just the reverse instead of doing the, the front ponytail or the back ponytail, do the front as a ponytail. I don't know if you guys see it, but some of my hair is turning silver. And it's because I washed it with some, uh, sh uh, one of that shampoo, it's called I think Shimmer Light. That shampoo gets it basically more blonde, but actually gets it silver also. So, I mean, silver is coming up soon. So, you know what I'm saying, might as well start getting to it. Stay tuned for that, subscribe. I seen this one right here. I don't know if my head, my dress is there yet for it, the length. But this is cool right here also. So it's kind of like a, a sloppy hair tie, um, like a ponytail. Yeah, this is another one right here that I've seen some people with long dreads rock this because they don't, they just like, I want to put it in a bun. But at the same time, if they put it in a bun, of course, the rest will be hanging down or on the side of the head. So 
You just put it like this. This is really cool, actually. And also, every hairstyle, I'm telling you that every hairstyle looks so much neat with a cut. A cut can literally transform your life. Like, my hairline's messed up. Taco meat. You guys, any hairstyle will look good with a fresh new cut. So, Gunna the Greg hooked me up with this. And I'm telling you, for every style that I did, if I actually had a haircut, it would look crispy. That's it, guys, for a video. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did making it. Check out the previous video. But till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm out.